Good evening. Yes, that is right. It's time for another episode of Red Renegades. Today we'll be doing Louis Tomlinson being 10% too British. Now, guys, often when we're here in sort of, you know, produced and polished works, uh, sometimes, uh, regardless of whether this, where the singer comes from, their accents can be a little hidden. But uh, make no mistakes about it. Uh, Louis Tomlinson has quite a thick British accent. Uh, I think he's from Doncaster. I could be wrong about that. Uh, I haven't focused too much of him. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, we'll just get into it. Hope I don't get interrupted. The fuck was that? Ah, uh, what's going on? What is it? Huh? I'm in, I'm filming. Fuck's sake. One sec, guys, sorry. Grace, what is it? Come in. What? You got a package for me? Well, who's it from? They didn't say. Alright, look. One sec, guys, sir. It's a box. One sec, guys, sir. Fair enough. Now, what do I got here? Alright, let's see. Hmm. Well, big deal. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? I think. Guys, I think the entire universe is in this box. This is Pandora's box. Alright. And I'm gonna open it for the camera for you guys. Send it to all your friends, like the video, and subscribe. Just maybe just a little peek. <laughs> Shit! Big mistake! Big mistake! Alright, we'll come back to that. Alright. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Louis Tomlinson being 10% too British. Is Louis Tomlinson British? Too, right? Get to know. Northern and specifically Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, I'm from. Damn it! I apologize, people. Where is Doncaster? I'm not exactly sure. Logs <laughs> be. Do you know what I mean? Give him a manual in months. Knackered, tracky bottoms. Yeah, some nice fresh trainers. All my friends from home call me Lewis. I'm not quite ready for me phoner. Right, bre Like if I had a million subscribers, I would edit it out. But at this stage, nah. Best <laughs> almost there. There's none that I regret, like that one on my arse. Don't let it break your heart. I'm Boy. not gonna lie. 1991. The lines were all right. Horrible. In a nutshell, Louis just sounds like a butler. That's what I used to say. That sounds like someone's. Man, this is going fast. Butler. It sounds. It almost sounds like his voice is being sped up. Is it just me, or maybe it's just the speaking voice of the way you know, uh, it's been like recorded and put up to YouTube. Sort of something's lost, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Rocky Balboa, mate. Nile the bad boy, give it a rest. Nile the church boy, more like. <laughs> Full of butter. <laughs> Layla, I've just what show is that? Rings round, jit round him. Hope you well. Face and she's like, hey, 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 um, write me a tattoo, write me a tattoo. Right. And I'm like, okay, what? And she's like, I don't know, I don't know. And then you're like, and I'm like, but but to be fair, love, this is a lot of pressure for me. I thought. Plenty of people do that. I think not even just, you know, people with mega stardoms. I think Ed Sheeran does the same thing where sort of he had, ooh, who was it? Ah, uh, that Irish actor, I forgot her name. Some, Cerise, uh, Ro, Ro, Roland, Roland. And yeah, basically uh, he got her to do a tattoo on uh, his like forearm or somewhere on his body. And it was like a lot of pressure. Sometimes you just say, oh, do a signature. Maybe it's too much pressure if they know it's going to be tattooed. You're going to have this on your body. No, some friends who's got to have done it as well. Right, anything. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's a difficult thing to. So I normally just do my little signature X's smiley face, but I could write anything. I could quickly Google what a swear word is in Chinese and write that, and she might have it done. You know. Um, Saturday is it a Saturday today? On a Saturday afternoon slash morning. Saturday. Louis Tomlinson, cute again. Uh, not sure how to react to this one, uh, other than saying thanks, love. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. <laughs> Is that his catchphrase? I'm quite British, right? I'm not sure, like, how did Louis go as a, uh, in his, uh, role as a judge in X Factor? I'm not sure if I could take him too seriously. I mean, Simon Cowett, like the Pussycat Dolls, Nicole Schesinger, they're all very sort of, 
like very judgy, you know, so they've got good judgy faces, they're good judges as, you know, they roll on the X Factor. Louis just seems a bit too casual and uh, I'm not sure his demeanor, I'm not, it, it seemed like it'd be too helpful or something, not, you know, sort of making things dramatic for TV. I'm not sure, let me know. Maybe they told him to be an asshole. I haven't seen it. Like, a matter of fact, and I see a wall as a wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> tell Louie about your uh, big time rush story. Definitely tell me about your big time rush story. We'll swap. Very, really nice people. Mm. Um, <laughs> I owe them a lot. Mm. You know, I really It do. really sounds like you do. Yeah. <laughs> no. Jesus. You know what? I hope you don't owe me a lot. I got no time for Love Island. <laughs> I absolutely despise that show. Honestly, it's a tragic show. I got no time for it or anyone on it. You know, everyone's incredible to work with. Most people. <coughs> um, what are you laughing at? Me accent. Me accent. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Anyway, if I could speak, if that's all right, love. I sent Liam a song about two weeks. I haven't heard too much of uh, Louis uh, Tomlinson's solo works. Would it be to say that, I don't know, he's been the most quiet sort of post uh, One Direction? Sort of, I certainly haven't heard too much about him. Me personally, at least, you know, uh, from what I've seen. But uh, yeah, his voice uh, seems to, you know, there are people who sound differently, uh, their singing voice to their speaking voice. And I think Louis Tomlinson falls into that category. Let's go, Liam Payne from band, but never heard back from him in the little like from the band One Direction? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I yeah. Forgot about them. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, don't be a <laughs> I just yeah. wasn't ready for the band to go on a break, to be honest. Um, so, oh, come on. Jesus. I'm trying to think, but also not be offensive. I've me right, honestly. Any more laughing? Any more laughing? You know you'll get kicked out if you carry on. Final warning. Nasty question to end on, you little. You but thanks for proper pissing on my fire there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the boss? Yeah. Am I the boss? I was always the boss. Yeah. Anything else you want to go to his uh, record? You want to end on a better note than last time? <laughs> <laughs> no, joking. That's why um, it's a good one, because I want to see uh, what you Let me say. think, let me yeah. think. Um, hey, think. hey, hang on. This year at X Factor, the bird, the what, sorry, the woman <laughs> who, the woman who, who did that, did the Toys R Us song, she came and auditioned for no. me. To you guys, I just want to say thank you. The rain has been fucking awful. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, got to be careful, Louis. <clears throat> Depending on, you know, where you're doing this concert, you know, sort of Americans, they're a bit more sort of strict about swearing. You know, can't do it on TV, can't maybe do it as much in public, but, uh, yeah, just different sort of, uh, sensitivities, I guess. Also, sort of, I think, this is, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I had a failed take due to some audio issues, but it wouldn't be a Red Renegades video without it. Uh, did he say sort of that, you know, his family calls him Lewis, while well, sort of all the fans and everyone else calls him Louis? Because I called him Lewis at one point and I got flack about that. I demand an apology. Hi, I'm Louis Tomlinson and I'm going to be going undercover on the internet. Hello, hello. Horrible, horrible, horrible decision. Infamous. <laughs> is it like, yeah, Harry's just, uh, sort of Harry Styles is now wearing ridiculous sort of, you know, outfits or, you know, sort of pretty uh, extravagant outfits. Well, Louis Tomlinson is sort of maybe just uh, like, hey, man, I'm tired of having, you know, sort of a, a dresser or, you know, sort of a fashion consultant and stuff. I'm just going to wear, you know, this shirt and just, you know, not go to the barbers every two weeks or two days and just relax and just, you know, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy my time out of the sort of limelight. Well, I'm not sure. Marijuana video. Oh, I know. So I know that that means anything or nothing. I like that. I no, like that. No, you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah, where is, that's where is good. Where is Maeve and I'm... It's Trademark. Tattoos. Defined cheekbones. Blue eyes. That's f***ing good to me. Yeah, I like Whoa. that. I like that. I ain't actually heard that one before. One of my American labor bosses said to me, I think you're just 10% too gritty. <laughs> Whoa, uh, what? And I'm like, <laughs> I remember just thinking at the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um... It's hard to get these bands together, folks. You know, sort of keeping control of five young guys. Sort of, you know, sort of, yeah, sort of the individual. The band digress is greater than the individual. They're saying, Zane, you're too much of a loud mouth. You got to be more shy. Uh, Louis, you're too, too British. You know, sort of. Sometimes, you know, these bands they can be a little fabricated. But overall, One Direction, sort of, you know, they don't seem as controlled as maybe some other groups internationally, like. Uh, you know, the K-pop scenes. But I could be wrong, though. Maybe I just need to sort of look more into it. But, uh... All right, Louis. All right, Louis, thanks for that. But, uh, you're useless to me now. <sighs> See you guys later. I gotta get out of here, guys. This bird's gotta fly. You just watched another episode of Red Renegades. Make sure to check out this video. My highest viewed. It's gotta be high viewed for a reason. This one? Oh, this one's also pretty funny. 
Also one down here. Alright, see you guys later. Grace, give me a water, will you? Thank you. Good show, that one. <laughs>